A wooden block rests on the rough surface of a board. Rough surface should tell you there's some frictional force happening. So here, one end of the board is then raised until the block slides down the board at a constant velocity v. Constant here is an important keyword. Underline that if you didn't. They give you a nice diagram, so it's great. I don't need to draw anything. What describes the forces acting on the block? So forces on the block, on the block, on the block, when it's sliding with constant velocity. So frictional force, let's start with that. If you would draw an arrow diagram, where would you draw it? If your block is moving downwards, friction will oppose that. So the frictional force, you can draw it kind of like in that direction, F, small f. What are the, what's the force that caused the block to slide down in the first place? That's weight. So something like this, downwards. Weight will have a component in this direction. So you can keep that in mind. Okay, So you can, you can draw those triangle stuff. But anyway, there's two components. So one of it will be in that along the along the the board, which you call that W X, I suppose I could call it that. Okay. Now they're asking for direction. Frictional force on the block. We already draw it up the block, so this two is up the board, sorry. So this two is wrong. Gives us a 50 50 chance to get this correct. Resultant force on the block. Now this is a tricky one. What is the resultant force? Resultant here means the total or net force acting on the block. So if we think of velocity, if the velocity is constant, that means no acceleration. Hmm. And Newton's second law says, one of Newton's second law says that the net force is related to the acceleration. If there is no acceleration, there cannot be any net force. So this should be zero, big fat zero. That leaves us with no choice but to choose D because this is wrong and this is wrong. That is question 11, incline plane forces.